Hey guys, this is Aaron from RF Digital. Today I have the assembly development kit number RFD 77803 with me, a USB male to female cable, and an iPod touch. We're gonna to be walking through the blink sketch and the color wheel sketch. Let's get started. First, let's unpack our kit. We're gonna be using three shields. Assembly seven pin breakout board, the RGB LED shield, and the USB shield. Making sure the pins line up correctly, attach both shields to your seven pin GPIO and plug it into any standard USB port. You should see the LED turn on. With the Arduino IDE open, navigate to File, Examples, scroll down to Simbly Non-BLE, go to Basics and select the Blink Sketch. This is a basic sketch It's going to show you how to blink the LED on the RGB LED shield. Navigate to the Tools menu and under Port, make sure the correct COM port is selected for your assembly device. Compile the sketch and upload it to your assembly. Moments later you'll see the LED on the top of the RGB LED shield blink green. Let's change the color of our LED. Change the LED underscore green variable to equal 2. Verify and upload and you'll see a red LED. If you change it to 4, you'll have a blue LED. It's that simple. Let's change our timing. Scroll down to the void loop function and we'll change the first delay from 1,000 milliseconds to 2,000 milliseconds. Compile and upload, and you should see the green LED stay on for two seconds and turn off for one second. For our second example, we're gonna program the color wheel sketch. Navigate to File, Examples, Assembly for Mobile, and select Color Wheel. After uploading the sketch to your assembly, turn to your iPod and open the app. You'll see your device listed there. Go ahead and select it. A user interface should show up. Selecting any color on the screen should change the LED color on the RGB LED shield. Let's change our sketch a bit. Scroll down to the void UI function. Right above the first draw text function, we're going to add a line. Type simply for mobile dot draw text. Our first argument is going to be the x value. We'll place our text at 120 pixels. Our second argument is the y value. We'll place our text at 40 pixels. Our third argument is our actual text. Let's say hello to the user. For our fourth argument, we'll make our text white. Recompile and upload and return to your iPod app. Select your device and you'll see the text hello at the top of the screen. You can find more documentation at simply.com.